Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. That is so crazy. So for this week's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my new obsession and it's reading. I've been to Barnes & Noble like every day, checking out new books and seeing what other books I would be interested in reading this year. So this video is going to be about what books I'm going to read in 2022. So I have some physical books with me that I'm going to show you and also ones on my Goodreads. The link will be in the description below, but I'll also be talking about them in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I just want to apologize about the lighting. I don't know why this side is so light and this side is so dark, but I hope you guys still enjoy the video. As you guys can see behind me, I have two stacks of books and I'm so excited to get more, but I'm going to start off with these books. I'm super excited to read all my books and show you guys what I got so far. Since I haven't read any of the books, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to tell you the name and the author of the book. So the first book is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, and I heard it's a really good book, and it just came out at the movie, so I'm very excited to read this and see the movie. So the next book is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I already read this book. I got it for Christmas, as you guys saw in my last video. And I'm not going to tell too much about the book because I want to make a separate video of talking about all the books I read. So stay tuned for that video. And let's just say there were a lot of plot twists that I wasn't expecting. Next is The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood. You could probably tell that most of my books will be romance books, but this one I heard was super good and I can't wait to read it. So the next books I have is the Off Campus series. So I have The Deal and The Mistake. And they're by L. Kennedy. There's three more books in this series and then there's a spin-off series called Briar You and I definitely want to read all of them because I read the deal. It was so good like I will definitely reread this one and definitely want to start the next book super soon. So the next book is what helps me get on my reading slump and it's All the Bright Places and I'm just obsessed with this book. I can definitely reread this one again and I probably will. I like how this book changes from one character's perspective to the other ones and it's really interesting and it kept me engaged the entire time. The next book is One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus and I just finished this book and I won't tell too much about it until the next video but this one so many plot twists and very interesting. This book is more of a mystery and it does have a little bit of romance, but I liked how it did flip from each of the four perspectives of the students. Next book is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas and I heard this book was really interesting and I just love the cover. Like, look at that. It's so cool. So it definitely pulled me in to want to read this. Next book is Twisted Love by Anna Wong and I heard there's three more books in the series so I'm very excited to read this and get started on the series. So the next book that I want to read is a series and it also has a spin-off series which is so cool and it's Vicious by LJ Shen and I'm super excited to read this book and the entire series. This next book is also a series and it's called The Sweetest of Oblivion by Danielle Laurie and it's called The Maid series so I'm very excited to read this because the cover looks super interesting and I heard so many great things about this book. The next book is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole and I heard so many people cried while reading this book so if you ever need a good cry this is your book. I haven't read it yet but I heard so many great reviews and highly recommended on a lot of book reviews. This next book I heard is a 10 book series and I'm so excited to read all of them because it is the Addicted to You series by Krista and Becca Ritchie and I love the cover and it looks really interesting to read so very excited to get into that because a lot of people said it's so good and I'm going to be starting this super soon. And the last physical book that I have in my collection is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and I heard this author is so amazing and has so many great books so I decided to pick up Ugly Love because everyone said this book was so good so I'm definitely going to read this soon and it's a lot shorter than I thought it was so it's definitely a read that I can finish in a day. And I'm definitely going to pick up more books by her because there's a lot of recommendations that I heard that were really good. So those are all the physical copies of books that I have in my collection right now. But now I'm going to show you what is on my Goodread and I'm definitely going to be buying them in the near future. So I'm going to read the list from my iPad and have the book right here. So the first book is One of Us is Next by Karen McManus and that's the second book of the series for One of Us is Lying. The next book is The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. Next book is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry and I saw this one in Target and I was going to pick it up but I think it's more of a summer read so I'm going to wait until then. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I heard this was such a good book and I can't wait to read it. Beach Read by Emily Henry. The Selection Series by Kiera Cass. The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. 
The next book is November 9th by Colleen Hoover and as soon as I see it in my Barnes & Noble I'm going to be purchasing it. All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. The next book is Brightside by Kim Holden and I heard some people like this book so I definitely want to check it out. The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. The next book is Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney. The next book is The Seven Husbands of Emily Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I heard so many great things about this book so I'm definitely going to pick it up very soon. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The next book that I really want to read is The Midnight Library and sorry if I butcher the author's name but it's Matt Haig but I'm not sure. I'm sorry about that but The Midnight Library I was going to pick it up the other day but I didn't but I will really soon. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I heard such great things about this book and once it comes into my Barnes and Noble, I'm going to pick it up and read it as soon as possible. The next book is Birthday Girl by Penelope Douglas. The book Bully by Penelope Douglas. The After Series by Anna Todd. The Like Us Series by Krista Ritchie. The Inheritance Game Trilogy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. You've Read Sam by Dustin Dow. Daughter of the Pirate King by Tracia Liebenseller. The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren, Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren, Regretting You by Colleen Hoover, Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover, and the final book is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. So that is all the books that I'm going to be reading for 2022. I might be reading more because so many books are coming out this year. Let me know in the comments down below any book recommendations you guys have or any books I should read before others because they were so good. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more book videos from me because this was really fun to film and I definitely want to keep you guys up to date with what I'm reading. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!